Hello and welcome to another Tokyo Treat unboxing. This January's is... box in January. Yeah. So take a look at the box. It's like <laughs> it's a bulging hole. over. Yeah. Um, the only sad part, I, because I, I open these up ahead of time, is to put the drink in the refrigerator, so it's going to be cold for us. Unfortunately, this time they pack tea instead, which mm -hmm. is great. It's another interesting flavor, but I really don't have the accoutrements to brew tea, so we're going to have to forego the drink this time. You mean time. like a kettle? And that, and mm. two mugs. <laughs> yeah, fair point. There's the book, Cozy Winter's Wait, Night it. is our book. Seems about right with Canada and the amount of snow that we get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll start yeah. with what's on top. Oh. Oh. Winnie the Pooh cookies. I mean, yeah. you don't need to translate anything. That's, that's chocolate. Or possibly vanilla, too, mm -hmm. or is that... Choco chip, chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookies. Um, but those ones aren't. Yeah. See, because there's two kinds showing on there. But there might only yeah. be chocolate chip in this <laughs> one. Oh, it says Hachi Mitsu. So maybe that means vanilla? Maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe okay. There's multiple kinds. Oh, look, I actually grabbed a... You grabbed a whatever the flavor chocolate. is. <laughs> there we go. I'm trying to rip it nicely and then... Yeah. Some kind of fruity. A little bit of honey. Killed. I kind of get the scent. Maybe melon? No. Okay. There's some caramelized flavor there. But when you first pick it up, you know that whole, as I've talked before, and you breathe in and sort of you're breathing in through your mouth, but it gets the flavor into your nose as well. Mm -hmm. I get a fruity flavor off that. Maybe sakura. That might be why we it can't identify it. I mean, it doesn't... It says Hachimitsu, so I'm sure whatever that translates to. Which I do not know the word. Face feel. Mm-hmm. They are. Slightly fruity. Mm -hmm. And in nice... I like when they do this. It's a big it's a bunch of individual packages. I mean, I suppose for just um, due diligence, we should try the chocolate <laughs> chip ones, too. I'll twist my rubber arm. Yeah, because choco cheap, like, <laughs> that makes sense. So I know all the important words. Mm. Yeah, oh, they're there. There's a couple in there. Mm -hmm. Again, kind of dry cookies. Mm -hmm. Japan seems to do a lot of, I don't know what it is, but it's like a dry, bready, it's tasty. It's just, that's what you, you need to drink. <laughs> you're meant to have your royal milk tea to go oh, along yes. this or your matcha yep. or something. <laughs> I think we may have mentioned that we're planning to go back to Japan this year. Um, October, November. One of the things that is definitely on the list is we're going to line up all <laughs> of the different co coffee drinks that I like there and we're going to see which one is best because normally the Georgia Ole is my go-to. It's it's the best one I've found. And I tried a couple different ones. I had the Boss yeah. one day. I think that oh was my the God, one that was like difference. chemical tasting. Like It was, yeah, it was, wow. Yeah. It was like, no, this is not as good. Anyway. Whatever it was, it was not coffee. I digress. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm bad and didn't turn my phone off. <laughs> well. Diamond ring candy. What's well, like a ring pop? Yeah. I'm going to guess it's a cola flavor. That's yep. what it looks like, yeah. yeah. Cola, yeah. Oh, it's for me? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's cola flavor. <laughs> so, Add it to my, uh... even though we won't be having it, there is the the sakura. See, that's why I wonder why that that might be, because this yeah, is sakura tea. But it actually says both in English and Japanese. I know, but I was wondering maybe that's what the flavor mm -hmm. is in there. Shaky maraca. <laughs> um... Mikan, maybe, or just orange? I mean, it looks like a stack of oranges all together. Yeah. And it says Mikan right there. Mikan. So, ha! There you go. <laughs> In even kanji. No, that's Hiragana. Hiragana. Hiragana, yeah. yeah. Occasionally you read. Luckily, it wasn't katakana, because I probably wouldn't have been able to yeah. read it, because I haven't studied that as much. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the only question is how the heck do you open it? Oh, that's cute. I mean, it's a stack of... I bet there must be a plug on the bottom. Hmm. Hmm. Got to get all of the paper off. Yeah, all of the shrink wrap. Yeah, yeah the, the 
Images in the background are from mm -hmm. the latest trip to Japan, which was in October. Okay, please be whole, otherwise <laughs> it's just some shaker musical instrument. <laughs> no. There's, hang on, maybe... Looks like the top pops. Ha ha. Clever. There. Take a few. Sneaky. I didn't have to open the bottom. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like little nerds, these guys. And yeah. hard to reclose. I'm just saying, this particular box feels like going back to the older boxes. It mm. seems like there's a lot more Degashi style in here. I mean, you know, the sort of penny candy style. Well, it wouldn't be candy. You know what I mean, that inexpensive candy. Yeah. And just lots of it. Oh, it's like a fake ice cream sandwich. I assume that's foamed chocolate on top. Yeah. Be... With a little chocolate center. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Foamed white chocolate. I'm impressed it held up for shipping, but. Okay. Oh, it's cold. Yeah. Like in the summertime, that would have. That would probably melt it. It would all be melted, yeah. There's the chocolate, kind of. Yep. Mm. Just like it shows in the package. Mm -hmm. And a bunch of crumbs. Strawberry gummies. I'm, it feels like gummies anyway. But definitely very strawberry. Oh, and they're going to be warm. That's the kanji for fire. Ooh, so maybe the cinnamon. Yeah. Well, it's, what is it? Kachi? Yeah. Kachi. Yeah, we should know the gummy katakana yeah. by now. <laughs> should. Wow, should. is that ever smell fruity? Oh. So it's totally like... encrusted with sugar. But it's obviously supposed to be a little strawberry. Those are tasty. Mm hmm And they're, oh, they're supposed to be like a... There's a different one yeah. in there. There's an orange one as well. Yeah. Oh, grass tried both. Mm hmm There's a lot of yeah. sugar on them. Oh, mango. It says. Can I find another orange? There we go. Yep. And I'm pretty sure that's the kanji for winter, too. My bad reading skills. <laughs> almost... Winter, winter's for you, isn't it? Yeah. I can almost feel myself getting cavities from those, though. <laughs> yeah, they're really covered with a lot of sugar. Yeah. But I think they're fruity marshmallows. Colorful babies. <laughs> Not as big as they're shown in the picture, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one isn't properly. Don't open, don't split the damn bag. Yeah, they're no. marshmallows. Yeah. And they flavor though. That's a marshmallow. No, just color, no flavors. Mm. Well, maybe they are. They're slightly different than the other one. Mm hmm. They are slightly different flavors with a different color. Mm. Yeah, this is a lot of sugar, sugar, sugar. Mm -hmm. like, oh, There's but I'm hardly any savory. Yeah. I am complaining. You know I would rather <laughs> have the savory stuff. You want all the chippy chips? Yeah. Okay. Oh, little star candies. Which are just lumps of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> and like, what would be like a jelly cup. Yeah. Because I used to get, back in the day, like the big buckets of jellies that had the little lychee chunks in them. I know these are just hunks of sugar. Okay. Delicious, delicious sugar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just hunks of sugar. <laughs> you know what you could do, though? You could melt that in, like, a coffee. Mm hmm They'd be great to go with the, the tea. sucker or tea. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's what they're actually intended for. <laughs> Unicorn fish. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> I found out that this particular style of fish is sea bream and is apparently good luck, which is why it's become a big thing. Anyway, some... Whoa, is ever Pink fruity. Oh, that's... And the other side is blue! It smells delicious. I'm just trying to think what it reminds me of. Whoa! And there's purple on the inside. Purple. Well, of course, there's pink and blue on the outside. Yeah. Mm. This actually, the smell reminds me of a cereal, I want to say. Weirdly. Lavender, maybe? Foamed white chocolate. Um, no taste to the biscuit at all, yeah. but I think the chocolate has a bit of some sort of fruit, maybe a lavender. Mm 
They're very good, though. I haven't had these in a long time. <laughs> They're basically Smarties. Candy coated <laughs> chocolate. Wow, this is such a sweet box. Savory. Come on. <laughs> it's so much sweet. I know there's a lot. I'm in the minority. Most people prefer the sweet stuff, but I really... I, you yeah. make a box that's just chips and umibos. He'd be or very happy. Or more yeah. chips. You know what I buy mm. when I'm in Japan? Mm. Yeah, these are very much like Smarties. Mm -hmm. The question is, do they have different flavors? Different but a little, bit more, um, a little bit more bitter chocolate. It's not quite as sweet a chocolate. Mm. But that's, again, a Japanese thing. They're, the chocolate is often a little more on the... Leans more towards dark, more towards the bitter side. Yeah, it's not It's not like a milk chocolate. It's like more mm. of like a cocoa, I would say. Mm. Oh, look, chips. Yeah. Please don't be chocolate coated. <laughs> Well, yeah, again winter. Yeah. Sour cream, maybe? But it's got pictures of mittens and everything. It's winter. Possible <laughs> snowball theme. We dumped it in sugar. No, those look like chips. They smell like just chips. Mm -hmm. Potato. Mm-hmm. It's like show salt. Mm -hmm. Are you happy now? At least it's something to munch on that while you eat all the chocolate. <laughs> More marshmallow. Rainbow stick. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I wonder when the camera stopped. Oh, oh yeah, because we didn't start that time. No. Right? Do you want me to cut the audio? Or yeah, it? push okay. stop. Don't push. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we might have missed a couple things there. The camera stopped recording. <laughs> Rainbow. If you missed it, mm -hmm. the one thing you might have missed, there was a savory thing. There was chips. It was plain... Potato chips with salt. He's happy. He wants the salt. Mm -hmm. that my boss fish flavor, I'm going to be really annoyed. <laughs> and I will laugh. Just marshmallow. Yeah. Not even any kind of nope. fruity goo in the middle. It's just marshmallow. Yep. Look, marshmallow. Yep. Tasty, but... Animal crackers. <laughs> with, um... Lion, horse, dog, cow, monsieur duck. M period duck. I don't know why he has a title and no one else does. And they all, actually, they're all written in English. And then there's little animal names on the back. Oh, and learning yeah. stuff, too. My brother is lost. I can't. Oh, it's actually, it's actually the katakana. So my... Borazu. Oh, that's why Izu I can't read it. Looking, I don't know what words those are. It's, it's teaching yeah. them, per, teaching yeah. Japanese people to sort of pronounce English using the... But then they also have like Onichan, which is the Japanese for big brother. Oh my goodness. There's a puzzle and games inside. Printed oh, wow. on the inside. And there's a yeah. whole list of words and things. That's what I just pointed out. No, I didn't. I you didn't point out that I noticed there was a list down there, and it's all every one yeah. of them. It's try, showing you how to say the English word with the yeah. hiragana. Yeah. Um, no, no. Whoa! I think it's supposed to be mallard duck. I don't know why they abbreviate it though. Could be. Hmm. Unexpected, because it's got sort of a. A little bit a of sticky. A little bit of chocolatey coating on it. I don't know if it's chocolate. It's sugary, though, for sure. Yeah. Well, I was not expecting animal crackers to have a sort of sugary coating on them. They're close to, like, the outside of, like, the Hello Panda, I would say. So this is a DIY, and you're making snake meat. Snake <laughs> You're rolling up a tube, making pink inside, then putting blood goo on the outside. <laughs> it's rather a violent looking DIY. Choco cake. Really? Mm. Two savory things in the whole box. More for me. Mm. Oh, there's little is, cookies. Is, it's kind of like a wagon wheel, pretty yeah. much. No, it's not. It actually is. Wow. I thought it was a wagon wheel. It's okay. not two cookies. Have a whole cookie's worth of two cookies. Two half of cookies. <laughs> it's not really a cookie. It's more of a dryish cake. It is something that these remind me of, though. 
Oh, I know what it. I cannot think of the name of the cookie, but it's the one that has like raspberry jam on the inside. Jammy Dodger. Similar, yeah. These are like well, the outside of. Yeah, if it were if we we're in Britain, it's a Jammy Dodger. Mm. They're like Viva, Viva Puffs. There we go. That's, That's what they what call I was them here, here, but it's the same thing. Yeah, if there was if there was a bit of jam and marshmallow on top, but we've had enough marshmallow. Thank you. <laughs> Choco pan. Mm-hmm. Chocolate filled pancakes. That's not chocolate. No, it's not. That is maple. Maypuru. There you go. Maple syrup. I'm going to say, we're in Canada. That's artificial maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fool us on that one. Hmm. Speaking of which, we really should try to get fluffy pancakes at least once over <laughs> there. We go for three weeks this time. Yeah. That's the hope anyway. Again, this is January. That's October. One of us could be dead. Both of us could be dead. The world could be engaged in war or the coronavirus could have killed everybody. We might not be going, but we want to go. It's optimistic. Because by then I'm going to be out of mints. <laughs> I ran out of Omimbos really quickly. It's because you ate all the Omimbos. It's because they were delicious. Okay, Sunflowers playing ukuleles. Doraemon singing. Okay. It says, my... Oh, I know what that is. Oh, that's frustrating. Because it's in, <laughs> it's in Katakana that I don't read so much. Though the first one looks like... No, that's not Man Man. It's X. It's a flavor we're both going to like if it actually turns out to be flavored. Well, looking at that, I'm feeling like that might have said Chizu. It sure did. Thank you. I can smell the cheese already. Mmm. Still has the kind of umaibo corn underneath, but Mm -hmm. a little bit like a Cheeto. That didn't last long enough. Nope. (laughs) So yeah, that was... Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's already it for the Cozy Winter's Night, uh, January 2020 Tokyo Treat. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Do the thing. I shouldn't need to tell you the things. I mean, if you're going to, sub- if you see this and you want to watch more, you're going to subscribe. I don't need to tell you that. And we all know the bell on YouTube only works sometimes. And if they like you. Anyway. <laughs> so um, stay tuned right after this. Because if you remember, I think just last month I told you that I won the lucky treat. For December. Yeah. It arrived. So watch the next video because we're going to unbox that. Yeah. <laughs>